Welcome back, famous fans, to your go-to channel for the juiciest, funniest, most ironic celebrity drama stories. Today, we're diving into a story that's as bizarre as it is tragic. Buckle up, because we're talking about none other than the late, great Matthew Perry and his shocking obsession with ketamine. Trust us, you won't believe where this tale of Hollywood highs and lows takes us. Ah, Matthew Perry Chandler been to you and me, the king of sarcasm, and apparently a huge fan of something much stronger than coffee. Yep, folks, it turns out our beloved Chandler had a secret side hustle in mind, one that involved a lot more than just making us laugh on Friends. According to a close friend, Matthew Perry was so head over heels for ketamine that he wanted to start his own little ketamine empire. Because, you know, why not share the joy with everyone else? Now, let's just pause here for a moment. Can you imagine? Chandler Bing, of all people, going from could I be any more sarcastic to could I be any more into ketamine, I mean, who saw that coming? But wait, it gets better. Perry didn't just love ketamine for its therapeutic benefits, he was ready to go into business with some random guy from Glendale to spread the gospel of K. Because if you're gonna go down, why not take a few friends with you, right? But here's where the plot thickens, or should we say, gets murkier than a hot tub full of regrets. Perry was 54 when he tragically died from a ketamine overdose and drowned in his own jacuzzi at his Los Angeles home. Yes, you heard that right. Our favorite wisecracker from the 90s was found in a scenario that sounds straight out of a dark comedy, a hot tub overdose with ketamine as the deadly sidekick. And no, this isn't a plotline from a weirdly dark Friends reboot. Enter the rogues gallery of Hollywood's seedy underbelly doctors, assistants and dealers who seem more interested in making a quick buck than in Perry's well-being. Authorities swooped in, arresting five people in connection to Perry's death, including his assistant Kenny E. Wamasa and a woman allegedly known as the Ketamine Queen. Oh, and let's not forget the doctors, yes, the very ones who are supposed to do no harm doctor. Salvador Placencia and Dr. Mark Chavez were also cuffed, along with Eric Fleming, a so-called acquaintance of Perry. You see, these dogs were allegedly texting each other about how to milk Perry for more money by pushing more ketamine on him. Because nothing says care like scamming a man who's already drowning literally and metaphorically. The investigation has now revealed that Perry's death wasn't just a tragic accident, it was the result of a well-oiled machine of corruption and greed in Tinseltown, and here's where things go from tragic to downright ironic. Perry, who claimed to be clean for 19 months, was still dabbling in ketamine therapy up until his death. In his memoir, Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing, Perry openly discussed his use of ketamine, describing it as a giant exhale and a trip down a very weird rabbit hole. He wrote about being blindfolded, hooked up to an IV, and basically tripping out to Bon Ivar. Sounds like a scene from a horror movie, but it was Perry's reality. Despite describing ketamine as being hit in the head with a giant happy shovel, Perry admitted the hangovers were brutal. But hey, when you're Matthew Perry, you've been through worse, right? Wrong. The shovel hit harder than anyone realized, and Perry's obsession with this so-called therapy ultimately led him to a tragic end. The irony? Perry was one of Hollywood's most beloved stars, known for making millions laugh, while he was privately battling his own demons with ketamine fans of course were devastated the investigation into his death is set to peel back the layers of hollywood's dirty dealings especially those between doctors and actors it's like something out of a thriller only it's real and it's heartbreaking but the drama doesn't stop there keith morrison perry stepdad spoke out after the arrest expressing heartbreak but also some relief that justice might finally be served according to morrison it's been a small comfort knowing that law enforcement is taking this case seriously but really, can any justice truly make up for the loss of someone who brought so much joy to the world? As the case unfolds, it's clear that Perry's death wasn't just about one man's addiction, it was a stark reminder of the dark side of Hollywood's glitzy facade. Perry himself once wrote, I have the disease, but I also have it bad. It's going to kill me. Tragically, he was right. And now, as the spotlight shines on those who may have exploited Perry's vulnerability, we're left wondering how many more stars might be caught in this dangerous web. So famous fans, what do you think? 
Could this scandal rock Hollywood to its core? Or is this just another sad tale in a town that's seen it all? Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell. You're tuned in to Famous Faces Scoop TV, where drama is fun and never a dull moment. Bizu bizu.